I'm going to show you how to install and uninstall software for Tinicore Linux. Make sure your PC is connected to the internet. And now I'm going to show you how. First, you click this icon called this black icon right here. It's called App. Then you click this button right here, App, and Cloud Remote and Browse. Then it shows a bunch of list. So I'm just going to uh, just to show you CPU FR. Okay. This software right here uh, shows you uh, frequency of your CPU. I mean, how, how fast it is. And now I'm going to install it. Make sure uh, you either choose on boot or on demand. If software that you want to, to install is going to be like really big, then make sure you choose on demand. Or if it's small, on boot is okay. And this one is really small, so I'm going for on boot. And now, see this progress bar right here? It downloads the software and now installation is complete. Now let's check. CPU and press tab and you get a bunch of options right here. So I click info. Now you know uh, how fast it is and uh, you get the result, right? Now let's re uh, uninstall this software right here. You press app and go to maintenance and click check uh, dependencies and deletion. See, now here uh, have a list of all these softwares that I have installed on system. Now where it is? Okay. Now, this one right here that I just installed. Now I'm going to remove it. Click dependencies button right here and mark for deletion. And you see these three uh, lines right here? Now it's being marked for deletion. But it has not been removed yet. This is what you must do. After you mark for deletion, you click this access button right here. And you need to reboot boot this operating system. And make sure you select this backup button right here. If you choose none or safe or whatever, then it will not delete. So click OK and now you are seeing uh, these three yellow lines over there. It's being deleted and now it gets reinstalled. I mean, reboot. Wow, this notebook is really slow. That's why I installed the Tiny Core Linux here. Now let's see. Just click apps and here, see if it is still there or it's being removed. Click maintenance and check for uh, on put maintenance. And see, it's gone now. It doesn't exist anymore. 